Many books, films, or legends that travel by word of mouth have told stories of mythological creatures of the sea. From stories of terrible sea monsters that destroyed ships and the sailors who sailed on them, to the accounts of mermaids who enthralled their crews with their songs to drive them to a terrible end, all these stories have survived the passage of centuries. That's why today, we are going to unravel 10 mythical sea monsters that have become the seat of fear for many cultures out there. We place the deadliest and most fearsome for number one, so keep watching to find out as it will surely give you the biggest goosebumps of your life. Now let's ride on, shall we? Number 10. The Asbidecalone The Asbidecalone became quite popular when the movie, The Adventure of Baron Munchausen, hit the main screen. If you've not seen it, then you've got to. You've got to watch this scene where the captain and his crew were tossed into the water after their ship capsized, followed by the horrific sight of a sea monster that kept them all shaking. Enough of the movie excerpts, don't you think? The Aspidec alone is a creature of Greek mythology, a beast supposedly shaped like a big whale or a giant turtle with an ample, irregular backside that makes up its upper part. This part usually stays above water, shaped like an island. Now you see why the captain thought they had found their haven after the crash. Seafarers dock at its back, hoping to rest and cook, unknown to them that they've just met their worst nightmare. The heat from the fire they make irritates the monster, and guess what happens next? Yes, you got it right, everyone gets drowned. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. The Jormungand This creature is very notorious amongst the people of the Norse mythology. Um, don't worry, we got you covered. Norse mythology is like a compendium of stories and cultural folklore about Vikings. Now that's more relatable, right? Jormungand is one of the exceeding large Norse sea ophidians, or you can call it the sea serpent. You can liken its appearances to that of the basilisk in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Yes, that scary looking snake that petrifies you on making eye contact with it, that's the one. The Jormungand is more commonly known as the Midgard Serpent. It is owing to be legend that it coils itself around an island known as Midgard. It has earned its place in Marvel's comics and screen shows. The Serpent is the child of Loki and his mistress, Angerboda. What a deadly combo! The monster was banished from Asgard by Odin and fought by Thor, the god of thunder to put an end to the doom that the Jormungand was to bring. The monster's blood is poisonous, and it can produce fire from its mouth, the fire that is always ready to burn its victims alive. That was scary even for Thor, son of Odin. Number 8. The Kappa Owing to the traditional knowledge of Japanese, the Kappa is a green monkey-like monster with webbed feet and a hard shell. Some people even described it as a miniature man with some sort of depression filled with water on its head. That is the source of its strength as it becomes weakened or may die if it loses the liquid. The Kappa was notorious for tricking young kids into kidnapping them and luring women into raping, then eventually drowns them. Oh, just like all monsters, we would never forget to add brutal killing to the list. It has a very peculiar killing mode, according to legend, and that's removing the soul ball from the anus of its victims. Japanese parents use the Kappa story to scare their children from dangerous swimming. Locals still place Kappa warning signs near rivers in Japan to date. The power of Kappa stands for both pure and evil. The Kappa as the story had it taught the techniques of bone setting to man. It has a soft spot for cucumbers. No wonder cucumber offerings are taken to rivers and ponds in Japan to appease the Kappa. But you don't want to mess with an angry Kappa while swimming. It might end up being your last. Number 7. Scylla Taking a run from Japan to Greece is where we met one of the most notorious monsters of jealousy. It's not like it feeds on jealousy or something, but Scylla, according to Greek legend, was a pretty damsel before the goddess Circe, out of envy, turned her into a monster. Scylla is a female sea monster with a fish-like tail, 12 feet, 6 long necks, and heads with about 3 rows of very sharp teeth for devouring ships and crews. Scylla first came into light in Homer's Odyssey. That story of the king of Ithaca that lost his way after his victory against indestructible Troy. Homer described the beast to inhabit the Strait of Messina between southern Italy and Sicily. She lives very close to another notorious sea beast, the Carbidus. 
They're so close to the extent that the more you sail away from Scylla, the more you get ravaged by the Carbonus. Scylla's voice was so terrifying, just like the yelping of a massive dog, you can't escape the Scylla and Carbonus without losing some members of your crew. Hence the famous saying, between Scylla and Carbonus, meaning between two impending dangers. Number 6. Lernaean Hydra Also owing to the Greek folklore, this monster was a spawn of Typhon and Echidna, more popularly known as the father and mother of all monsters and was raised by Hera. Lernaean Hydra is a gigantic sea snake that lived in the Lerna region of Argolid in Peloponnese. Lerna, since ancient times, has been believed to be the gateway to the underworld and was well guarded by the Lernaean Hydra. The Hydra has many bearded regenerative heads, with one of the heads being immortal. You kill one of the heads, two grow in its place. That's so thrilling, you know? It has a poisonous breath that could kill you in the matter of seconds, and its blood likewise is very deadly. It terrified the inhabitants of the countryside for centuries and was responsible for many deaths on the lake. Lerna did not know peace until Hercules, son of Zeus, conquered it alongside his brother Lolaus as one of the twelve tasks assigned to him. Hercules tactfully killed it using a combo of fire and sword. The fire helped to cauterize the wound from a sword cut to prevent the heads from regenerating. You must wonder how tough that could have been. He hid the immortal head under a large boulder. Hercules died not long after the victory when he became contaminated with the Hydra's blood. What a terrific sea monster the Lernaean Hydra was, to have dragged its killer to death along with it. You really can't wait to go find out more! Number 5. Umi Bozu You want to talk about a Japanese sailor's worst nightmare? Well, I found one for you, the Umi Bozu. The Umi Bozu, also called the Sea Priest, is a legendary Japanese oceanic spirit that was responsible for the death of many sailors according to folklore. It is a gigantic monkey-like multi-animalistic black figure that can scare the wits out of you. It is so big that no one has ever seen it in the full norm because half of its body lurks in the water. The Umi Bozu only attacks when the ocean is calm at night. Many stories about it start from quiet, peaceful nights on the sea that suddenly turns turbulent. It appears to the sailors, demanding a barrel which it uses to scoop water to drown them. The only way to escape the Umi Bozu is to present to it a bottomless barrel with which it cannot scoop water. You can then flee amidst its confusion. The Onagawa Miyagi Prefecture, April 1971, a fishing crew supposedly saw a giant black void with a big uproar with half of its body in the water. Other descriptions they made also match that of the Umi Bozu. This event even made the story of the Umi Bozu even more creepy. The Umi Bozu has also been ascribed the ability to change appearances into a woman form and swims alongside humans in swimming challenges from where it tears them apart. So, it's high time you stop swimming with strange ladies at the beach late at night because you don't know which one is the Umi Bozu. Number 4. Leviathan The Leviathan is a sea snake that has appeared in the mythology of many cultures, ranging from the Jews to the Sumerians. Some cultures described it as a guardian, while some like the Hebrew, a powerful enemy. Leviathan, according to Jewish folklore, was a female many-headed dragon that lived offshore very close to its male counterpart known as the Behemoth. The Christians described it as a demon of envy in the image of Satan. The Book of Jobs described it as a lotan of Canaan that was conquered by Baal Hadad. Members of the Gnostic faction described it as a fire drake that captures lost souls into animal bodies. Sumerians also described it to have seven heads. Although many cultures varied about the description of the Leviathan, most legends described it as a fearsome creature that you don't want to come across in real life. Number 3. The Kraken The Kraken is a notorious killer in the Nordic folklore. If you want to relate to how destructive and lethal the Kraken is, then you need to watch the Kraken movie Tentacles of the Deep from 2006. The Kraken is an octopus-like creature that dwells off the coast of Norway and Greenland. It is so heavy that its weight is enough to drown massive ships, after which it guttles an entire crew all at once. Some legends describe the Kraken to be a giant squid with mighty tentacles. It swirls to create a whirlpool that sinks a ship to the bottom of the ocean. The Kraken has a unique description in its legend that makes it a very fearsome and cunning killer. It feeds primarily on fish and produces a scent that lures more fish towards it. The vast schools of fish entice fishers to its lair, where they meet their impending doom. 
It's hard to get a survivor from the Kraken's attack. Just pray that you don't get to meet one. Our pick for today features a killing machine with a short, swift, and powerful attack. Some call it the beast with the black head. Number 2. The Beige Kion Beige Kion is more popularly known as the beast with the black head. You can't call something a beast without reason, though. It is one of the most fearsome creatures in Irish mythology. Beige Kion has a snake-like shape with a dark, scaly body, twice as large as a kraken. It is so massive that it doesn't come out on land. Imagine coming across a serpent almost half the size of New York City. What a fearsome sight that would be. It inhabits the deepest part of the southern coast of the Isle of Man and has always been a thing of fright for many Irish sailors even till today. You can't meet one-on-one -on -one with a beast and make it out alive. It is a stealth killer that uses darkness as its camouflage. You don't get to feel its presence until it's too late. It first cripples its prey by coiling around it and breaking its spinal cord. Then, it feasts on them as brutally as you can imagine. Number 1. The Cthulhu The mere thought of this creature would surely throw you off balance. The Cthulhu became very popular with one of Lovecraft's books, The Call of Cthulhu. It has since become a very deadly killer god in many cultures. The Lovecraft's Cthulhu is like an amalgamation of the worst sea monsters that have ever walked the Earth. It has a dragon-like and octopus-like shape, similar to that of a kraken in combo with tentacles, making it look like a man's beard. The general outline of a Cthulhu depicts it to have some sort of human form, covering its skin or scales, and its feet or claws that help devour its prey. The Cthulhu is the priest of a group of prehistoric creatures from another planet known as the Great Old Ones, and the deadliest amongst them. The mere sight of it is enough to drive you mad, as legend told about people who went insane just by seeing it. The legendary Cthulhu is immortal, as any wound or loss of parts that it suffered could quickly reform and regenerate. Locals quiver even at a mere tale of it. When the reign of the Old Ones ended, that's after they all sank in a precisely known location of the Pacific Ocean. The legendary Cthulhu still communicated with humans through telepathy. Have you ever imagined a monster that kills with its mind? Well, Cthulhu is one of its rare kind. Cults have been established in many cultures to worship the Cthulhu, hoping that one day it would return to reclaim the lost glory of the Old Ones and end humanity as we know it.